Hello, it's Kick-Ass Woman Time. I'm Jenny Dye, author of The Breaking Chronicles. When I'm not writing, I love to learn about kick-ass women in history. And I'm here today to tell you about one of them. Have you ever wondered what makes a woman become a kick-ass woman? Well, in this case, it was large breasts. Yeah, I'm sure I have your attention now. Ida Rosenthal was not thrilled to be living in the United States in the 1920s. It was considered very fashionable to have a boyish form. Translated, that meant it was fashionable to be flat-chested. So women with larger breasts worked hard to wrap their breasts into submission. Ugh. Well, yeah, Ida happened to be a very buxom woman who also thought all these other women were being absolutely ridiculous. Ida was a visionary and she was a self-made woman. She immigrated from Russia to marry her boyfriend, William, who had immigrated a few years earlier. They had started with no money. They had nothing but a dream of a better life in the United States. Well, they had one other thing. They had Ida's irritation with American fashion. Ida knew what she wanted, so she just went after it. She saw things very clearly, so she started asking questions. Why fight nature? Why can't we make something that actually fits a woman's body? They were good questions, but it was even better that she had the means to provide the answer. An avid women's rights activist, she had long ago turned up her nose to the idea of working for someone else. Instead, she bought a Singer sewing machine on the installment plan, yes, they did those, and began her own seamstress business. In 1921, when women were wrapping their breasts, Ida started her own dress shop in Manhattan. She thought women could look better in their dresses, so she set out to do something about it. She and her husband, William, designed built-in bandeaux with cups that separated and supported the breast. Ha <laughs> ha, they were an instant hit. The women's bra company, Maiden Form, was born. Ida was the management and marketing genius behind their success. She bought ads, she negotiated with unions, and she introduced assembly line production. She pushed the boundaries by running racy ads featuring photographs of women in bras. In the 1920s, she was definitely a kick-ass woman. Ida Rosenthal proved female executives could succeed at a time when working women rarely got further than factory worker or secretary. The bras she helped create liberated women women with comfort, freedom, and sensuality. They also created multimillionaires of Ida and William. Ida is a shining light of what can be accomplished if you keep your eyes open, recognize a need, and set out to do something about it. I don't care how long you live. I don't care how advanced society becomes. I don't care how many inventions are invented. There are always problems to solve, solutions to be presented, and easier ways to do things. You just have to believe it. You just have to keep your eyes open for the opportunity that ignites your passion and purpose. That's how you become a kick-ass woman, just like Ida. You know, the next time you feel that wave of frustration about how things are done, look at the situation again. Do you see a better way, an easier way to accomplish that task, a more productive solution? If so, then start doing something about it it doesn't have to be something that ends up in stores all over the world. Being a kick-ass woman doesn't mean you have to change the whole world. It just means you need to change the world you live in for the better. Ida believed she had a better idea, a more comfortable way for women to live. She simply lived out her dreams and passions and definitely added herself to the list of kick-ass women. Okay, that's all for today. Subscribe to my channel below because I'll be adding many more stories of other kick-ass women. If you want to check out my best-selling historical novel series that focuses on some pretty amazing kick-ass women, you can use the link below to buy the first one for just 99 cents. And as long as you're clicking things, I'd appreciate a like if that's true for you. Have a great day, and I'll be back soon.